Once there was a king beloved by his people. In his ambition, he broke the boundaries of mortality. He freed us from death. He granted us revenge. And then, in his wisdom, he sailed into the lightless void. Now we stand in the light of ancient suns, surrounded by frail newborn empires. And the stars whisper of our king's return. Hello, my name is Kerioth, and that was a trailer that was released today on the Warhammer community site. I'll, of course, link you in the description so you can see it yourself. And frankly, I don't know what else we're supposed to make of this, other than it looks very much like the Silent King. Zerak is actually on his way back. Which, to be honest, I feel like you would not tease, you would not put that out unless there was some slight chance of a model. That also has massive ramifications for the universe as a whole. The Silent King returning is a massive bit of plot development, and as I say, I don't know why you would suggest that that is the case unless you were well prepared to have some sort of model to go along with it. Now, immediately, my my thinking for this is is just all sorts of stuff. What 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 could go what could work better, for instance, for the launch of a new edition than perhaps the return of the Silent King? The unification of the Necrons to forge a brand new well not necessarily brand new, but a even more threatening presence than already existed from the race of metallic, mostly soulless automatons that have basically capable of just wrecking anything they see. If you were going to kick off a brand new edition, a ninth edition, so to speak, would it not make sense for there to be a threat similar in scope to Chaos, but different? Something that would perhaps require some sort of massive, massive response to? Uh, a need for the Imperium to take their primary stuff, for instance, and turn it towards a new, a new foe, or at least a foe that has suddenly regained a metric shed load of strength with the return of their leader, who has been gone for thousands and thousands of years. I am unreasonably excited about this. Like, really, really unreasonably excited. The idea of a Silent King model... In fact, let's talk about that for a second. Silent King model. Let's assume that that's what we're getting. That's what we're going to get. We're going to get that. That is what we're going to get. A model for the Silent King. What form would that take? Well, we could make random guesses. We could try and go off the trailer, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Because I reckon I think I have an idea, at least, as to what this could end up being. So we have... Uh, <laughs> I always get his name wrong. Krakatos? The the, the Arc Bone Reapers dude. The big diorama with the very, very uh, commanding sort of general looking over the battlefield. All sorts of servants and bodyguards standing around him. We have that in Age of Sigmar. We have the Triumph of St. Catherine for the, uh, for, for the Sisters of Battle. Going by that trailer... If we, if we look at that and go, okay, can we extrapolate from that? It would make sense for the Silent King to have some sort of retinue, probably. I'm really leaning towards, trailer or not, the idea of the Silent King being a diorama-style model. Much like the ones we've seen from the Arceoc Bone Reapers and from the Sisters of Battle. A, a character of the, the calibre of Zarek, it makes a huge amount of sense for him to be a massive diorama, where he is the centre of attention, he has multiple, like, assistants and multiple bodyguards. If he was standing in the middle of some sort of Blackstone ruin, that would make a huge amount of sense as well. Those are just what I'm thinking we'll probably see. I'm so happy. Like, I genuinely am. 
the idea of this being like a return to force for the Necrons, a force that should be massively feared and massively strong, and it is, but the idea of the Silent King returning, managing to unify a significant number of the dynasties to make enough of a threat that the Imperium has to sit there and go, oh dear god, we need to stop this right now. That being the basis for, like, ninth edition, if we do get the Primaris versus Necrons box, which we have talked about, it will be so good, it would be so perfect, and it would be such a nice departure from the Marines versus Marines that we see so often. It would be such a good boost for Xenos as a whole. Oh, it's all just speculation at this point, obviously. It's all just getting excited about something that may not even happen, but... I feel like you would not release a trailer like that. You would not tease something like that if something did not come of it. And the idea of the Silent King returning in any re- in any form and just getting absolutely no representation on the tabletop doesn't make sense to me. I would I would sincerely hope that this isn't some sort of wild miscalculation where it's a case of, hey, look, this massively important person has come back and uh, we're just not going to address it. I really don't think that is the case, and I would really like them to like really like to see them do something with it. This could be really good. It could be massive. It could be so good. My 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 gut instincts genuinely are that this is the storyline for the next edition of this game. This is what kicks off ninth edition. It is a return to force, like by the Necrons, due to the return of the Silent King that we will get a model for. It will be some sort of diorama. It would make so much sense for it to be some sort of diorama, especially in the context of we've already seen Illuminor Zeras. Illuminor Zeras in a, is a massive, chunky, and awesome-looking model, but it is a model. The Silent King, I think, is going to be different to that. I think if they did it any other way, it would just not look quite right next to another character that's already had a refresh. It needs to be something different, something new, something properly impressive and the stuff that we've seen from the Osteoch Bone Reapers and the Sisters of Battle in the form of their HQ dioramas is properly impressive. That's just what my gut's telling me. It could be totally wrong. This could turn out to be nothing. It could turn out to just be a trailer and a cool storyline for which we will get no real tabletop support. I don't think that's the case this time. I'm not going to say that that's 100% what's happening because I can't do that because that would be a lie but every part of me hopes that that that's what we're going to see. We're going to see him come back, that it's going to be the kickoff of a, a slightly different narrative for the Imperium and the universe as a whole, that we are going to see just the Silent King represented as they should be on the tabletop. That's what my gut's telling me, and I really hope, I really hope that that is what it turns out to be. Anyway, what did you think of the trailer? What do you think it is foretelling? What do you think we are going to see from this? Do you think it is going to tie into ninth edition? Do you think we are going to see a diorama style model for the Silent King? Do you think it's just going to be a narrative thing or something more? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, feel free to click all the things. There's the affiliate link. You know about all of that. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm super excited about this. I'm so... Oh, I'm so happy about this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.